It's the afternoon of October 21. The waterproofing on the back sides of all my retaining walls has been installed. I use a product by Quickcrete called HD Masonry Coating, and I use their acrylic fortifier to help with the bonding. Uh, I, I'm, it's my understanding it toughens it up. Uh, what we're looking at is their gray material, which goes on once it's mixed with water and acrylic fortifier. It's mixed in the consistency of about toothpaste. Um, it's a little finicky with uh, in regards to how much or how little water is needed on both the wall and uh, and in the material. And the setup time, it starts getting a little crumbly after about 15 minutes. So. I, uh, I work with about 10 pounds at a time, comes in, uh, comes in 10, 20 pound pails. So I split that in half and then apply it with a masonry brush. It works really well, uh, but like I said, it's a little finicky as far as learning how to apply it. A little trick that I like to use, it comes in two different colors, one uh, white and gray. And I've learned when I first started doing this a number of years ago, that, uh, that if I put gray on the first day and then try to put gray on the second day, I can't tell where I've been and where I haven't been. So I apply white the first day, and then on the second day, I apply gray so it looks a lot like the, the concrete block. And you'll see a couple little weep lines right here. Uh, it was rainy this morning, and, uh, and to complicate matters, because it's a little finicky with water consistency, or you know the amount of water to use, it was just that much more challenging today uh, to get this material applied. Now, of course, I only apply the uphill side and, uh, and we had, I don't know, about 200 feet, 250 feet to apply. In this case, let me jump to the other side of the wall. In this case, I'm not sure I am not sure what uh, what my neighbor is going to do on his, on his side, so I went ahead and added I added some coating or waterproofing to the bottom the bottom part or I don't know the bottom foot and a half, so that way if he wants to if he wants to build up the dirt on his side, uh, I don't have to worry about efflorescence on my side of the wall. That is where we are today. Oh, and I guess before I forget, uh, the stone guys have started laying the uh, the full range bluestone cap. So that one was, they started yesterday morning. Uh, they measured, cut, flamed, uh, rounded the corners, and they've also got this installed as well. Let's see. Yesterday, my stucco guy was out. He said he's pretty busy. I guess uh, once that first rain comes along, everybody gets panicky, and uh, it'll be a little while before he can get the stucco aspect of it installed. We'll have stucco on both sides. That is the reason for why we have almost two inches hanging over on the wall. He's gonna need about seven eighths of an inch, and this is what the wall looks like without the cap. They've already got the string line in place. And have set, looks like they've set the first one. Now, incidentally, they set out every piece. They install it, they do a dry run. So they know for sure that there are, there are no measurement issues. Here are the stones, they're already cut, rounded, flamed, uh, et cetera and uh, they'll be doing that installation tomorrow. Now this side, I don't have, we're not done yet. It has been waterproofed on the back side. Hard to tell from here, but yes, five blocks down, it's been waterproofed. There's a French drain that has to go in here. There's also mirror drain on the wall side, uh, a French drain with three inch, three inch, uh, three or four inch pipe down at the bottom, and then uh, crushed drain rock on top and we'll be using a filter fabric on this side to complete the French drain. So it's been a very crazy couple of weeks to get to this stage, but uh, I feel like the pressure has come off a little bit. The block has been filled and we have places for the water to go in the event that it rains, which from my understanding, we're gonna get a fair amount 
this weekend. What's left, we still have to continue this up to the driveway. There's gonna be a walkway that goes from here all the way down, down to the other side of the property. But uh, I couldn't get this excavation uh, to happen at the same time as the one below. We're gonna be stepping on top of each other's rubble. So that will be done either next week or we're gonna just have to wait for a while. So it's looking good. Tomorrow, uh, my masons are gonna start doing the line work for, uh, for at least this column. And uh, we have two other columns that'll be stone wrapped. We've got, I don't know, five pallets of stone hidden back here. All right, it's been a really fun fort. I don't know, fun month to get everything done.